Hi, I'm Marcus Bean and I'm helping Hellman's Mayonnaise celebrate a 100 year anniversary and I'm going to share with you my perfect sandwich recipes. As a family we spend time in Portugal and this is a real good holiday inspired sandwich. OK, so let's get started with our charred red pepper. Pop it on an open flame. It's going to take a little slice of our sourdough and get that toasted off straight away. And we're going to get our fillets and just put them skin side down first of all, just to get that skin nice and crispy. I'm going to get my courgette and just do some little courgette ribbons. Bread's done. Bring that back over to there. And I'm just going to get a tiny little bit of oil on here. And then we're going to get these into the pan and just char them so they get a nice charred flavour on there. And that mackerel's done now, so I'm just going to bring that over. Pop that on the side of the board. And you can see all that lovely black colour, which is exactly what we want on here all that char in a flavour. So I'm going to take that off and just put that in a bowl with some cling film. This is one I did earlier. So the next thing we need to do is make our pesto. So I'm just going to get my fresh basil into here, a little bulb of garlic, add that in. And I've got some toasted pine nuts and a little bit of freshly grated parmesan. And then, of course, the oil just to finish that off. Let that grind down. Super. That lovely green pesto, which is going to go really well on the sandwich. So, to make our pesto mayonnaise, grab our Hellman's, a couple of dollops, and then, of course, our fresh pesto, which we've just made. So, the great thing about making a pesto mayonnaise is pesto is obviously oil-based, so it has a lot of oil in it, but there's also a lot of flavour in. By adding that uh, creaminess from the mayonnaise, it just brings it all together, and it works really well with the sandwich. Onto the top. And then... I've got a little bit of English goat's cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle under there. And then our charred courgettes. And then our super crispy mackerel sitting on top. And then a few of our little charred smoky peppers on top. It's a great thing about the open sandwich. They look fantastic and it's got everything in there. Just something to give it a little kick on the end. I've just got some fresh horseradish, which I'm just going to grate over the top. And there you have it, my holiday-inspired sandwich. So these are my favourite sandwich recipes. What's your sandwich of the century?